Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Beverly Lucas and I am the host for For the Love of Cooking Fridays. What do we do on Friday? We put together a delicious home cooked meal that is better than the restaurant. Trust me. Beverly, what are we making today? Hmm. Today, we're gonna make something different. We are going to fry up some rainbow trout and we're gonna make a garlic butter lemon sauce to go with it. We're gonna top it with some sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna place that over some grits that have been cooked in chicken bouillon. And then we're gonna make some green beans. We're gonna fry a little bit of bacon. So, I invite you to join me in the kitchen and follow along with me as we make rainbow trout with a lemon butter garlic sauce with sun-dried tomatoes over grits and some sauteed green beans. Come on, come and take this journey with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So let's go over our ingredients. We have two rainbow trout fillets that have been washed and dried. We have some scallions or some green onions. We have our green beans here. We have some heavy whipping cream. It's not whipping cream. It is just heavy cream. We have some olive oil, of course, salt and black pepper. We're using a little bit of tarragon and some fresh thyme. We're using garlic cloves, onions, a lot of butter. So I have a whole stick of butter. It's actually gonna be 10, tablespoons of butter. We have lemon, we have onion powder, we have some paprika, and we have my favorite old-fashioned grits. Always the old-fashioned grits. I never use quick grits. And for our beans, we have um, some bacon that I'm gonna fry up um, with a little bit of onion. And that is, oh, and of course, my favorite, my secret ingredient to almost everything is that chicken bouillon. So we're gonna use the chicken bouillon to cook the grits. So we're gonna cook the grits with the chicken bouillon, water, and heavy cream. And the heavy cream is also gonna be used to make our sauce for our rainbow trout. Always when I cook, before I cook, I always utilize what I call the four Ps. And the four Ps are that you have to plan for what you wanna make, so you have to plan you have to make sure that you have all the ingredients that you need. Um, when I want to make something, I usually look at a lot of recipes and then I come up with my own. Um, sometimes I follow a recipe to, to the T and you know, when I do that, I let people know this is not my recipe. I follow the recipe from, i.e. the Food Network, which I love. So you have to plan and then you have to prepare. So you have to prepare, make sure you have all your ingredients. The worst thing that can happen is that you begin to cook and you do not have all your ingredients together. So you might be asking, what am I doing? I am just taking off the tips of the green beans. I don't like them, never liked them. So you have to plan, you have to prepare, and then you have to be patient. You have to take your time. I never cook or try to make a video rushing. I just don't do it. Food, when you, when you cook food in a rush, it tastes like you cook the food in the rush. And I know that. I remember when my son was little, you know, I got, I have many, many stories about my children, but when my son was little, one day I was cooking, he had to be about nine or 10, and I was mad about something. And I was cooking with my madness. I will never forget this. And then I put the food on the table because, you know, we ate as a family. You know, everybody sits down at the table at dinner time. You know, we didn't have computers the way that we have them today. And I said something about me preparing the meal. And he said, but Ma, he said, you prepared it in meanness. You made it in meanness. That's what he said. He said, you made it in meanness. And I was like, wow, like he really paid attention. And that was a lesson I learned and he's gonna be 28 this year. So that was a long time ago. So when I'm in the cook kitchen, 
and it's called For the Love of Cooking because I really do love to cook. And what cooking does for me now is it helps to release any stress, any anxiety, anything that I may be concerned about or worried about. When I'm in the kitchen, all that just goes away and it's just me and my ingredients. So we plan, we prepare, then we have to have patience. And then for me, it's all about the presentation. I love presenting food and you should be able to almost taste the food before it even gets to your mouth by the way it looks. That's the way that I prepare my food in Beverly's Kitchen. Okay, we're about to make the grits. So I'm pouring in right now one cup of just regular water. And one cup of heavy cream. And then I have one cup of heavy cream, but I'm not gonna put that in yet because I don't want that to be scalded. So I'm gonna wait until this water boils. And then I also have that one chicken bouillon cube I'm gonna put in there. And then I have a cup of grits. And I also have here um, three tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna leave those and wait till the water, um, wait till the water boils. In the meantime, we are going to prepare the bacon. I cut them up in what's called lardons. And we are going to use the bacon for the green beans, but we are going to saute the beans in the fat. And one thing I learned about bacon is that you want to, when, you, when you're using it for the fat, you want to cook it slow so all the fat renders out and makes um, the grease that you need in order to flavor your green beans. I make cabbage this way. Sometimes if I'm making um, collard greens, I make collard greens this way. If I'm not making them, you know, cooking them for hours, I just um, go ahead and use the bacon. Also, what we're gonna add to this is we are going to add the green beans. We're gonna add my secret weapon, my secret ingredient, which is another bouillon cube. I'm gonna Okay, the water is boiling, so I am going to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to add that cream. I'm going to add the butter. Okay, we're going to whisk in the grits. Whisking the grits every five minutes. So the bacon is done. Just put it on some paper towels. And now to the grease, we're going to add some onions. Okay, the onions are simmered and they look like they are ready for the next ingredient. Again, this is in the baking grease. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of water and I'm adding a bouillon cube, you know what? Maybe a half a cup of water. Let me get some more water. That's good. I like to smash it down. Yep. It's not always pretty. It's not. I constantly clean as I cook. And I'm adding a bouillon cube. You know what? Maybe a half a cup of water. Let me get some more water. That's good. I like to smash it down. I constantly clean as I cook. If you can see here, I had to switch out the pot. The pot that I had was just way too, it was too small and I couldn't whisk. So I transferred it to a bigger pot 
and I'm whisking. Okay, I'm putting my green beans in. So this is in the water and the chicken bouillon, the bacon grease, and the onions. To that, I'm gonna add a little salt and some black pepper. And I'm gonna add a little um, garlic powder. Now let's turn our attention to this beautiful rainbow trout. And we are going to season it. I have two fillets. I come from a fish family. <laughs> when I say a fish family, I mean literally. When I was little, I remember my grandmother and my grandfather were fishers. And they would go out on Friday morning, four o'clock in the morning, go out to the lake. I can't remember what lake it is, but I'm sure one of my cousins will let me know. But they would go out on the lake and they would fish. And then they'd bring home all this fish and everybody would come over to their home. And we would, um, we would clean the fish. And we would fire the fish the same day. And they had this huge dining room table. And then they had the kitchen table. And my grandparents had 11 children. So these are all the grandchildren. And I don't know how many of us there are, but there's a lot. It's time to whisk the grits. So I learned how to clean fish at a very early age. I learned to love all types of fish. Whatever they caught, that's what we had. And there is nothing like eating fresh fish the day it was caught with the bones and all. Those are some of my happiest childhood memories with my grandparents. Okay, so I just put on some salt, some onion powder, some paprika. We need some pepper. And some garlic powder. And I always do the skin up first, and then we turn it around, and we start all over again. So let's check on these beans. They are boiling away. I'm gonna turn them off, because I like them just to the bite. They look wonderful, they're done. We have five more minutes for our grips and that will be done and we are going to make fry our fish and then we are going to make our sauce some people just put this on the fish they don't put any seasoning on the fish but I've learned to do both um, because it gives the fish uh, more flavor because this flavor is very subtle even though it's good it's very subtle so I'm going to mix this with some cornmeal and we're going to fry this fish Okay, so our fish is ready. Our oil is ready. And let me just bring you along with me over here. And we are going to place it in skin side down and we're going to place it in away from us. And rainbow trout is thin so it doesn't take that long to cook. Um, you know, two, no, maybe three, three minutes, three minutes on each side. So we're going to do that. Okay. Everything is done. The fish is fried. Our green beans are done. Our, um, grits are done. So now we're going to make the sauce. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tablespoon and a half of butter. I'm gonna turn that down to low. And to that, I'm going to add, this was about two cloves, two large cloves of garlic, um, chopped up, fresh garlic. sprigs of thyme. Fresh thyme. 
Ooh, that smell. Oh my goodness. That's one thing I love about cooking. I love to smell the food. It smells oh so good. I say this in all my videos, but you want to be careful about garlic because one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to burn the garlic because then it has a very, very bitter taste. Okay, let's get the rest of our ingredients. Now we're gonna whisk in about a quarter cup of cream. And I'm gonna add the butter. So I'm adding eight tablespoons of butter and I've cut them up so that it looks like this. And I'm gonna add them slowly one by one, whisking as I go. And voila, our meal is complete. We have our fried rainbow trout with lemon. We have our butter sauce. Can you see that? We have our green beans with onion and bacon. And we have our creamy grits. Now you may ask, why are all these separate? I keep them separate because I don't like my food to touch. I like to bring it together. Before I taste the food, there is something that I just wanna remind you of. And I wanna remind you to do what it is that you love to do. And if you don't know what you love to do, and if you are discovering yourself, if you are um, venturing out, and if you need assistance in that, don't be afraid to get a coach. Don't be afraid to get a life coach. Don't be afraid to join a tribe um, of women or of men who are trying to advance and do things that they love to do. Because there's a whole lot going on in the world. And if you don't have time to spend doing something that you love to do, that can cause a lot of anxiety. So you see me with this shirt on. This shirt is so wealth. It's from um, one of my mentors. Her name is Dr. Vicki Johnson. I am going to put her information um, in the description. So if you want to find out what so wealth is all about, because it's one thing to be wealthy. It's one thing to have materialistic and monetary things. But what about your soul? What about your soul and what about your spirit? You want your soul wealthy. You want your soul healthy. So there are ways that you can do that. But that's all I'm going to say on that. So for right now, I am going to try. I've already been eating the beans, but I'll just do it. Delicious. It's the bacon. It's delicious. And it's the onion and it's the garlic powder. And I didn't cook them too long. I didn't cook them too long. But I do want to try this um, trout. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. The sauce is so good, that tarragon. And butter. And then I also sprinkled some red pepper flakes over that to give it a little bit of heat. Delicious. Delicious. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my cookbook is For the Love of Cooking. Um, you can go to fortheloveofcooking.biz. You can go to beverlyslucas.com. Either way, you can get to my website. I ask that you comment on this video that you give me thumbs up. Most of all, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope that you enjoy spending this time with me. I love spending this time with you. You have a wonderful weekend.